our shots together. The Haggis is disappearing now. This is Stirling Castle. They just redone the Royal Great Hall in that gold color. It was the original color of the stone, we're told. And that is the memorial to William Wallace, Braveheart. Mel Gibson's movie. Got to take a look at that again, having been to the site of the battlefield, which is all that green area. And there's a bridge down there that they trapped the British soldiers and defeated them. So here's the emblem of Stirling Castle. We heard some stories yesterday about the unicorn being a symbol of royalty. Here's a map of Stirling Castle with the views. Argyle's lodging was one of the big lords of the area. And that's the great hall that they just finished and painted. Another famous warrior king, Robert the Bruce, died in 1512. Giant of a man, revered here. Was really the mightiest king of Scotland for many years. I'll scan some of the... Some of the the walls and battlements. It's a lovely area. That's the one I was telling you about where the silver is phenomenal in there. It's the the back collection. of the and, uh, Great Hall. I say it's similarly the best collection of silver outside London in there if you like uh, silver. Hello, lady. There's a toilet there as well. <laughs> now there's the entrance. Of the and would you believe there were three floors in there at one time, you know, with uh, barracks and beds, etc., for the soldiers. So this is the uh, castle the complex. Really the the Sterling Castle. Years. Nothing to do with Sterling so Silver. 3,000 oak trees, 4,000 pegs, no nails. They have they had a special forest to redo the oak. Of behind most of you, that's the minstrels gallery. In this, the it took them 20 years of construction to redo. You can place. actually hire this hall. Uh, not so much Edinburgh Castle Great Hall. You see, this is bigger than Edinburgh Castle Great Hall. Edinburgh Castle Great Hall can only be used. And they have uh, all the minstrels, heart, uh, uh, the old-fashioned minstrels that they have. Five meters in plan. They lay us in the cloth. And by the time they wrapped it round us, there was pockets in it and everything. Just one bit of cloth that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, oh. We were charging about here, Braveheart's Warriors. It was good fun. <laughs> yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> Different from being a guide with a group, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm just going to work my way around. I think that's the palace down there. And we got all kinds of entrances into different places here. Argyle. So here's the palace of James the fifth and I'll take movies inside. There's a fake fireplace with lights I think going on but some beautiful tapestries they've redone. Well, they haven't put any furnishings on it but they redid a string bed. Yeah, this describes the unicorn, a royal symbol of purity and strength. Well, this was a battle site here and they commented it, <laughs> they celebrated it with a recreation of probably the way the field was laid out. And there's the city of Stirling on the other side of the street there looking lovely with all the mansions and apartment houses and this is the castle I'm standing on the wall they refurbished this whole thing recently used to be a walled city we passed by a lot of the buildings that are now built on the wall and I'll just scan the horizon here to see the highlands in the distance looking north I believe thought we were going to have some rain but blue sky is showing up. This is where the ladies used to look out from the castle. It was so beautiful here they could see the mountains in the distance. 
some more of Sterling. There's a mining area. They they did shale mining here for oil 200 years ago. Excellent guides we've had in Scotland. Well, as it says, this is a guard house. I've just come through a gate from the inner sanctum to find beautiful greenery. These guys are using clippers, weed eaters to do the steep size of these walls. So these are the guard walls. I'll walk over there and get another view. But I'll scan this because this is the gate that I just came through. When I came through that, it reminded me a little bit of coming out in Machu Picchu Peru 20 years ago now. There's another view of the Great Hall we were in with that marvelous oak ceiling. This gives you a view of the walls. Pretty impregnable down to the uh, street level. And across the street, an old cemetery. Probably 1500, from the 1500s. Well, we're at the famous Grouse Distillery, and they've got a giant grouse here with lipstick imprints on it for some reason, people kissing the grouse. And here is the big grouse. This is a beautiful, rich setting of fir trees and ferns and all kinds of vegetation. Well done, and here comes the group. This is we're going into the famous grouse expedition at Glen Tourette, 1775. Then you'll have a free afternoon because I think we're all leaving tomorrow, are you? What's the uh, good time to have a bit, another look at Edinburgh, get packed, whatever you want to do. And uh, the left hand side in a second, just after, just when we come through the lights here on the left, St. Mary's Episcopalian Cathedral. Uh, of course, that's the Anglican form of worship. It's the main cathedral. It dates from the 1800s. It's got three spires on it. and uh, Getting cold the next few days, and you're preserving yourself here. Yeah, built to be exported. It's a railroad bridge. And you can see some of the islands on the right with the, the buildings there, where the gunners would have been during the Second World War. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a train going across the bridge. That shows you a beacon, a white beacon, coming out of the water on a pillar there. You just see it there, the white beacon there. Well, the, the river above us, I mentioned it yesterday actually. We're just taking a quick stop on our way from Edinburgh to St. Andrew's Golf Course at the Cathedral Ruin. The Cathedral Ruin dates from a thousand years ago. Got an absolutely beautiful day. Almost cloudless skies. This is the old St. Andrew's Church Road, Cathedral, really. Here's a sad story. David Fraser buried about six children here from age 27 down to six months, and he lived till he was 80, 85 somewhere. His wife lived 87. He was aged 85. This is the upper edge of the church. I want to scan back towards some of the other structures here in St. Andrews. What's this is called here, or is this the North Sea Mary? Got a light flash here, I think my battery is going dead. Okay, this is the golf course, that's the first first tee here. This is just some of the ride back through from St. Andrews now, we're leaving St. Andrews. This battery is running down, I'll change it after this. Beautiful countryside here. Yeah. Well, we're in the last stages, we're at Ski Pole, ready for our flight to Atlanta in another couple hours. Well, it's already quarter to three. Yeah, another couple hours. Four. Four fifty. Flight, flight is at 4.50. Yep.
the boarding just a little after four. Looked like Artie Frank there for a minute when I did a quick look. Uh, great trip. I don't think we're going to do Vantage again, but we enjoyed it. And change the battery pack just came up, so the battery is dying. Okay. Next time I'll bring the charging equipment. Okay. See you all later.